Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our RTR Imperium Serectum campaign as the glorious, the fantastic, the wonderful Spartans. The angry and aggressive Spartans, I guess you would say. And I just want to zoom in on this. Just... <laughs> It makes me so happy to see that. Makes me so happy. This man, his service to our realm has been legendary. Um, and there's also a couple of others that I want to kind of um, bring uh, bring into the play as well. And uh, Protus is definitely one. He's also been a legendary commander. And Nicandros. Nicandros. These are some of the legendary people that we have had. Where the hell has Nicandros gone? Kellyas, I thought Nicandros was on a boat. Nicandros, where are you, my friend? Are you uh, in the north? No, these are Uaimon, of course, pretty well as well. And he's only 39, but he's a bit young to be honored just yet. But uh, definitely uh, Protus. He has been fighting for us for many years and uh, smashing Romans, barbarians, and Greeks alike. So uh, I do want to honor him. But Nicandros, where are you, my friend? <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to have a look. Not there. There. Ah, uh, oh, Nicandros is in Agrigentum. Yeah, Nicandros 53. He has been serving the realm for a very long time as well. We will keep him in Agrigentum for now, just in case we have to go and pile some pressure onto Carthage. I mean, around here there's three cities that are quite nice to take that are all close together, but that does put us in conflict with the Massilii, which I don't want to deal with. Uh, it's too far away from our supply lines and from our recruitment centers, and would need a huge, a huge navy to really deal with it. But yes, Nicandros, Protus, and um, of course Cleonimos, uh, and Uaimon later on, we will honor uh, with cities named after them. And I, I mean... Protus, shall we name Panormus after you? Or Syracuse, maybe. Uh, Syracuse is an ancient Greek city, so... That potentially would be a, a decent one. So, But I think it's it's got to be one that he's taken, right? And uh, that would be Panormus. So I think we'll name Panormus after him. Nicandros... I mean, Nicandros can have Agrigentum, right? Um, what did... No, Nicandros took Syracuse. So we'll call Syracuse Nicandron. Sorry for this, guys. But I think it works with the story. It's it's nicely thematic, isn't it? Nicandron. There we are. Nicandron. Fantastic. And then when Panormus is taken, we shall name it after Protus the Great. Uh, call it Proton. <laughs> and not realize that that will be a name of something far in the future. Um, to do with atoms. <laughs> but yeah. But now, let's bring our spies around. We want to have a look at what Massalia is doing. So, in terms of what we need to do this turn, guys. Well, last time, what did we do? We took Agrigentum and Nicandron. Um, and we pressed against the Carthaginians. Also pressed down here at Mytilene. And we fought the Bosporans once more, didn't we? We scared the Bosporans away once again. I mean, not too hard to scare away the Bosporans right now with those troops that we have there. But <laughs> for now, we've got a couple of battles to do. And I will fight this one because I believe they will destroy us. They would give us like 800 losses if we if we took this one. If it was a bit further over about here, we'd, uh, we'd probably not take it. How about this one? I mean, it's the uh, Triarii there that are going to do the damage. So, let's uh, start with uh, with you, my friend. Uh, Eumelus, the handsome, the handsome devil. Um, and I, I think at the end of this episode, guys, we're going to do another Toggle Fog of War. So stick around for that, just to see uh, what's going on in the world and how the AI is doing. Um, that'll be good. Uh, anyway, Eumelus, the handsome, let's get into the battle. And I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are, guys. Ah, the beautiful snow. It is a fine day for battle. And we are on the air. Uh, can't believe they have just left it uh, as wooden walls. And the worst wooden walls that they could get. Just palisades. 
Um, da, 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 da. Problem is, we can't actually put the ram down there. So let's find a bit more of a open sphere, should we say. Open side. We've only got two sides, and this one's the best to go in through. So if we can... Come on, we've got to be able to put the ram around here, surely. I think it'll be able to get through. I, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where's the other ram? I'm happy to... Uh, you me Wait, you Melus, where did your ram go, bro? Happy for one of these guys to use this ramp. You Melus. And as a, oh, it, is a, it is a pretty damaged army, honestly, that we have right now. You guys, you're not the ones that move from there. You go there. I'm happy to put you Melus on there. Cavalry, you're not going to be useful. I'm going to try and use my, um, my good units, the 77 there and the 79 here. Maybe the 52 and the 47. The 89 as well is sound. Um, and we'll try and use our archers as much as we can in this battle, guys. So, might take a little bit longer than normal, but it's worth it to try and pers um, pr pr pers I, pr I can't speak, guys! <laughs> uh, preserve this army. We need to preserve it. It's definitely an army that we want to preserve. Um, keep healthy. Okay, Hastati, that's an easy one to break. This uh, Equites is going to be quite annoying, honestly. Oh yeah, we have no one this side, do we? So we've got to be careful. Because I don't want to... I'd rather come through this way. Definitely. Let's... Uh, Group these boyos together. Okay. Don't let me group them then. That's fine. Ah. Deselected the boys. Right. Let's get in. Get in if we can, boys. Also like the archers in here. But for now, just walk. Till the phalanxes have overtaken you. Just walk. Now run. Cool. Good. Good, good, good. So that has started. Oh, I left these guys out there. They took some damage. We can get there. Would be ideal. And then these boys could get there. Would be ideal. Bring you Melus up here as well. And then the archers can go there for now. Get you off uh, skirmish mode. There we are. You can get fit in there, can't you, boys? If they d decided to charge now, he would cause chaos. So if I was him, I... W uh, well, we've only got three units. They've only got three units, so it's not really going to be uh, much of a problem. Right. Phalanx. You boys. Phalanx as well. Now, get in the phalanx, boys. Come on. Got one of the old units and one of the new units. They're trying to break through. Guys, are you in... Phalanx, like, why are you facing the wrong way? <laughs> They're just facing the wrong way. What fools. You go and deal with those equites. Speed it up. It's just going to be a bit of a fight for a while. He could bring this unit down this way, but... Okay, that's a general gun. If they break, though, they'll run through us, which will allow us to kill them all. Oh, they broke as well. Nice. It's this tree REI that's going to be the problem. Yeah, kill them all. Fighting to the death. Right. So, key thing here. Getting our archers there. All you boys. Let's go there. You Melus as well. Let's get you there. And let's see whether he changes anything he's doing. Uh, troops are a little bit tired, but it's not too much of a worry. It's just the Triaria. I just, oh, it's just Hastati. Where the hell? What? Was it? I could have... Oh, maybe it was the other the other map. Maybe it was the other city. I'm thinking... In terms of the law of our nation right now... Go, go, go. Just just hit them. 
There we are. Um, what if we called every single... Uh, hear me out, guys. This might sound a bit weird. But what if we called every single city on... Um... You're facing the wrong way, boys. What if we called every single nation on... Um... Uh, every single uh, province on um, Sicily, if I can speak, <laughs> um, after one of our generals, legendary generals get named, we'll call it the Island of Kings. If someone could translate that into ancient Greek, that would be amazing. Um, the Island of Kings. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll call them all, or the island, no, the Island of Heroes. There we are. Perfect. So we'll call Sicily the Island of Heroes, and all the cities will be named after one of our great heroes. So we have Protus, which will be called Proton. We've already changed Syracuse to be named uh, Nicandron. Um, and we need to rename the rest. Agri Gentleman, all that. You guys should not be firing anymore. Go, 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 go. Quick, before you kill too many of my men. My beautiful, glorious phalangites. I don't want them to be killed by our own men. Oh, wait. He just knocked him down. He didn't die. What a boy. Come on. Oh, they shot at him now. <laughs> cool. Good, guys. Good. Oh, wait. These guys have lost experience. That's not, that's not great. Same as these guys. Oh. Oh, well. Gain some on the spot. What? How did we gain some on the Spartan Cavalry? This is... I just don't understand experience in this remaster, guys. Like... Two Spartan Cavalry gained experience and did nothing. No sustained casualties. No casualties inflicted. What? Spartan General, 82 casualties while taking seven. No experience. Like, what? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the uh, map, the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And, uh, yeah, Bononia. Time to enslave. We'll enslave all the Romans. They'll work well in our fields. They've lived a life of privilege so far. It's time they learnt how to be subdued by the glorious Spartans. Again, a temple of Minerva in a place that can't get a blacksmith. Weird. Weird. Weird choices by the AI, I've got to say. So we'll get rid of that. It might make them a bit upset for a turn or two. Yeah. They won't rebel on 70, though. That, that's fine. But Heracles... Okay. Trying to hear her. Wait, how is Heracles different? 10% as opposed to 5%. Let's uh, have a look. Heracles, Heracles, Heracles. So... Uh, yeah, where's... Uh, we've got Heracles. Let's go for Heracles. I've not had that one yet, I don't think. That'd be cool. Uh, and then, Stalia. Let's, uh, this one's the one with the Triarii. Cool. We'll just do the same thing again, guys. Quick battles, hopefully, so it's not too boring for you guys. And uh, I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are. Victory. Glorious. Stalia. It will be our victory. Big city, this. Big city. Um... Best way to come in, not there. This side, definitely again. Um, who's got the, the rams? So you go there, my friend. And the rest of you are archers. I'm happy to sacrifice some archers. So ideally, actually, we'll go there. You guys drop that ramp. This guy can go for the gates, and you can go there. And then you bring this ram just in case. But everyone else, you I'm on, you will be honoured at some point. What are other... I'll have a look at some of the Greek names of places. And uh, see what prefixes and stuff we can we can put on them. So come across. Oh, we're only going to have two then. Ah, God, I left you here. Come here. Speed up. Glorious battle map again. Very nice. One thing I am really excited about for RTR going into the future is the fact that they'll have uh, custom battle maps, much like Divide and Conquer, if I ever heard this correctly, um, 
four big cities, like uh, special cities like Rome or Carthage. And that would just be epic. And on top of that, the new uh, layouts for the uh, Celtic cities look absolutely stunning. They look fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to playing on them because the standard barbarian settlements in vanilla are kind of samey and, and not really amazing, are they? So, um, let's get going. Is the Triaria. Yeah, the Triaria is Captain Titus. Captain Titus. They're going to fire some javies. Get away. At least you get to waste their javies on, on archers. So, let's go. Let's go with the least experienced guys. Trying to get them some experience. I mean, Uaimon doesn't need it. He's a he's a boy. And you guys, oh, you guys are really low experience as well. Uh, then all the archers, let's put you together. Probably going to get shot a couple of times coming that way, but that's fine. Let's go with one guy first. Go through. Let's go. And then the other two of you, see whether we can get you through there. You, I'm on. I'm going to get you there. Nice. Let's go. This is good. This is good. You guys through as well. Where are the archers? Get the archers through when we can. Get that phalanx down, boys. They're prinker bays as well. So they're going to be tough. Yeah, fight them. Kill them all. Glorious. Uh, right, what we'll do is get you guys, one of you here. One of you here for that Triarii. Let's do that. One of you guys, let's go. Get you phalanxed up. Then I want you to take position here. Double line that phalanx. You guys get to just there. Triarii looks like they might be coming. Archers, let's get there. Speed this up now. I would like to be able to break that Triarii, honestly. But I don't think we'll be able to. Any of those hitting? Any of them even firing? Doesn't look like it. They're just pretending to fire. You can see no arrows coming out of their things because they haven't got a good line of sight. So what we could do... Get you there. And you back them up as well. Then we'll get the, uh, the archer boyos into there. So you all get there. Good. And start firing at that Triarii. Right, you I'm on. We need your uh, gold experience, boy. Look at these Spartans. Come on. I mean, it is annoying not having cavalry generals, but these guys are, are so strong. You can really... Okay, quick. Phalanx. Oh. We're pushing them away. Get into your phalanx formation, boys. I don't know why you're all... These guys are like, don't send me to the front line. Not against the Triarii. <laughs> guys. Come on. Weird scripting in cities, as always. I'll just halt. Uh, we should do fine. So it's time to speed it up, isn't it? Don't want this to last too long. Shaken. They get shaken every time they take a couple of losses, as you can see. Okay. Triaria is starting to die now as well. Good. Prinker Bays are going to route soon, which will be nice. 
Very good indeed. Very good indeed. I hope I just I just want experience in my armies. This army is a, a pretty experienced one. One of the most experienced, apart from maybe clear nine mosses. Um, but yeah, let's go. You I'm on. Let's get you down here, bro. Sure, I'm just going to take forever to kill. And then we'll do the same thing with that Prinker Pace that we did last time. They're just so well... They've got so much defense. They're very tired, though. How tired are you, boys? You're actually both very tired as well. Has this guy got some experience? I don't think he was a three-star before. All right, let's go. You, I'm on once again. We'll get you in the fight, my friend. Because you're an absolute beast. And it is spear... Are they with the sword? Yeah, it's spear on spear, so that's good. So if you, in case you don't know, guys, in the base vanilla game, in, in, in the... Um, I think it's the engine, honestly. Uh, spear fighting sword, even if it says, say, 26 melee attack, sword, swords are still better than spears. So the animations on swords mean that they put out more damage. So spearmen are actually in a straight-up fight with a swordman for the same melee attack and defense, the spears will lose. I don't know whether the mods change that or not, but... I think that's a, kind of a base animation thing rather than something you can change, but I'm not exactly uh, sure. Right, you boys, we probably only need two. And then archers. Go there. And we'll get you there. Go, speed this all up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, I've messed that up. Go, 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 go. Just go. Get in the way. Go. 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 Why are you... It's just stopped and stood there. <laughs> Idiots, man. Idiots. Oh, my God. Guys. You are... Oh. Why did you just stand there? Oh, my fucking God, bro. Imbeciles, man. So uh, just get these guys out then. Send you, I'm on in to uh, get rid of them. Oh, just get your phalanxes down, boys. Go! I just can't understand why they're so slow to do anything. These archers didn't even move, bro. Come on, kill the Brinker Bays. Let's go. Oh, now we should smash them. See if I do this, what happens? And they start to adjust, I guess. Bring them down. There we are. Oh, they did so much more damage than I was expecting. Oh my god. Experience for everyone. <laughs> Like, this is what I don't understand. How did the, the units that didn't do anything get experience? It's just based on time in a battle. Like, how much time they've been in the battle. But that, surely that doesn't make sense. I don't know. If someone knows the code and knows the, the back end of the game, they can tell me how experience works. That would be so helpful. Because I want to know why I'm getting experience there for, for units not doing anything. Um, surely it's based on the amount of losses to the kills they get and all that sort of thing. How many kills they get over a lifetime. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you on the uh, campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And again, let's enslave. Stalia is a large city, interestingly enough. Well, let's make sure we destroy those. And I don't think I did that in Benonia, did I? Oh, there wasn't, there wasn't one. Ah, brilliant. Cool. Get you on low. Repair those walls, my boys. Um, got a shrine to Aphrodite. I whoa, whoa, ten and a half percent, bro. Seven and a half from slavery. That's because we've been enslaved so many cities. Oh my god. Benonia is eleven. Eretium nine and a half. Oh my god. These Roman cities are getting repopulated beyond belief. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, that's good. That's good. Um, I think we'll go for that. And then we've got the last two settlements to take. Where is the, that Cryptia unit? 
Oh, we need these guys now, really. Have any more around? I mean, you. You go for Stalia. And we'll get the other ones in Benonia, because Benonia's a bit more upset. Slightly more upset. Uh, then how about down here? Happy to auto-resolve this one. Carthaginian troops are nowhere near as strong. Not the early game ones, anyway. So, Lily Byam. So, we have Nicandron over here, and Panormus is going to be called uh, Proton. So, we have three settlements to name after our legendary commanders, and one will be called Uaimon. Let's have a look at some of these Greek names. Polis. Uaimonilis. <laughs> Archaea on Argos. What about Uimos? There we are. That's yeah. That'll be that'll be a nice name. Uh, Bylazora, Thessalonica, Pella, of course. Uima, no. Uimos. I, that sounds right. I don't just want to call them all on. That's the thing. Okay, Yarda can upgrade. That's brilliant to see. Was there any other battles that we wanted to take? Not this one yet. We're just letting the rebels siege themselves out. Well, the uh, Suebi constantly. Uh, confuse themselves with what they're doing. <laughs> who is it? Who is it in Asanka? No, it's not. It's Eatrocles, who's actually a pretty decent boy. He is just... I, I feel bad for him. I, I have just abandoned him here. <laughs> He's been serving the realm. He's been serving... Uh, serving the great empire of Sparta, really, hasn't he? Serving it well, honestly. Well done. Well done. I know it's uh, frustrating for you to uh, retain yourselves up there for so long. Is uh, Trentum still happy? It is. So now we'll bring these guys. So we'll have Cryptia on this whole island. So once Panormus is done, they're still under plague though. I mean, I could just take it now. So if I take it now... I mean, I don't want the plague. Really don't want the plague. Because it might spread to my other cities. And that wouldn't be ideal. That would not be ideal. So, we will leave it. Maybe our siege induced the plague. Which, I'm sorry guys if it did. But, had to be done. <laughs> it had to be done. <laughs> so, I think that's uh, everyone. We are, yeah. Retraining over here. Get another archer. Cool. And his Bylazora retrained everyone as well. It has. Fantastic. Um, and you guys. You're good. Mayon over there. Cool. Let's uh, end the turn then. I think that's about time, isn't it? Okay. Ptolemies decided to press their attack. We've got Pikeman, Phalanx, and Theroporoi. No match for our glorious script here, obviously. Um... We're going to lose Byzantium then. The city of world's desire will be desired by us once more. Um, so I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Hopefully we can defend, but we'll see. Here we are, guys. At the last, there is something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone in what I must now say. Okay. <laughs> we will win. Um, will we? All of us will be brave. So they only have... I wish I had some. I wish I had some missile troops right now. Key thing here, guys, is making sure that our general doesn't die because the script here will just rout. Oh, come on, you know you want to do this, guys. How can that not be possible? Come on, come on. Let's do that. Make sure you're both on guard mode. What are your stats, anyway? I mean, 31 defense. Morale of 13 is not too bad, you know. I mean, it's not good, but it's not too bad. General's going to come up there. No, he's not. General's going to town square it. You, not you, you, are going to come up here so that uh, I believe you... Do you have to have guys on the gates for the boiling oil? But I, I'm not too sure about that. Um... So let's speed it up. They're going to get shot to pieces no matter what, which is great. Um, and hopefully the ram dies and then they, they can't... They lose. Oh! 
<laughs> oh, victory! Victory! The smallest victory we've ever seen. Ah, oh, fantastic. Two enemies killed. <laughs> I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And they ran away. Poor Ptolemies. I feel almost bad for them there. Their, their ram burnt within seconds. <laughs> it was only like a few... Oh, hello, Suebi. Oh, God, some big Suebi armies. I'm surprised, honestly, because they're at war with the uh, Iceni now, or... Uh, I think it's the Iceni. Dear friend. Um... I don't want to do that, but I'll give you map information. How about that? Give you a single thing of like five thousand, five thousand and ninety. We see no benefit to. Well, us. you just asked me for an alliance, so <laughs> I don't know why no one wants to be our ally because we're the strongest nation on the earth right now. Um, I did have another diplomat, didn't I? Well, let's go and see whether the Seleucids would be uh, interested. That's definitely worth a try, isn't it? Do I have... You're a... Oh, you're a diplomat. Oh, it looks like they uh, pushed the Seleucids back. I don't know how. Um, come on, Seleucids. Let's uh, try get an alliance with them. Because we're at war with the um, Ptolemies, just like them. So, this army... Kellyas the Just. That's quite a good name. We've also got Mytilene. Let's go through our everything first. Ceasefire, Armenia and the Greek city-states, Sanka and Aquincum again, Aegean has grown, awesome, huge city time now, wait, no, they bribed my Cryptia, no, oh that's just annoying isn't it, guess we're going to have to send you up up instead. That just slows us down. <laughs> God damn. I hope they don't bribe these ones as well. Probably send them with a general. We're back to being the richest. Artisan, a comedian. That's great. Who got that? Memnon. You're, you're just a governor though. I mean, you've got a lot of command, but you are actually excellent. Do you know what, Memnon? You've impressed me enough. You can come to Bylazora now. Pidates, we wanted to make a guy as well. He's 29. Um, right then, we've got this army ready to go. So um, let's have a look at that in a second. Let's do our building first though. Aegeon's getting upgraded. Awesome. Athens, we've got the merchant quarter. Uh, what do we want here? Let's go for the Odeon. They're very, very happy in Athens, but... Gotta be safe, hey? Let's go for a shrine to Ares, Larissa. Like, a lot of these... Now, we're getting to the end of being able to build stuff for them. A Pella. Dimos and Phobos, please. Thessalonica. Let's go for the Irrigation. Nisus. Let's go for... The Aqueducts. Singuidunum. Doesn't matter what we go for. A Quincum, again, managed to get Dimos and Phobos there, but not much else. Dark Adava, Mytonium got the stone wall, that's actually excellent. We'll go for farming now then. Lysomachia got the paved roads, good to see. We'll go for the port. Ascalum, let's go for the sewers. Masana got the public baths, okay, why did we need to redo that? Go for the paved roads down here. Nicandron got the shrine, so let's keep on going down that way. Aretium, go for the large temple of Dimos and Phobos. Then Bononia and Stalia are both building as well. Fantastic. Fan Dabby Dozy. I said it again. God damn. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Um, right. Yep. I don't know why you think you can win this, guys, but <laughs> I'm telling you right now you can't. But it's time to come across the water, isn't it? Well, the next army, though, we're going to send up to the Suebi. And I honestly kind of just want to push them back to the uh, to the river. 
that's just to the north. Is that the Origins... Um, which river is it? I can't remember. But yeah, we want to push them back to the river. And probably just defend there, like on bridges. It's... But they've got a lot of big armies, so we do need two armies going around to just fight each army. It's and, and as we've seen, they're strong. They're strong against Phalangites. So, I'm sorry we didn't skip the loading screen there, guys, but I wanted to chat, okay? Wanted to chat. So, we have gone to attack them, so we need to move. What a lovely battle map. Beautiful. Fantastic. Good to see this battle map. Um, now, where is the city? I think they're going to be coming around here. Yeah, they're going to be coming around that, that bit there. So, we're set up pretty much as we are. Uh, well, first things first. We're going to start using groups again, guys. Kelly asked the just. Maybe he will be on the Heroes Island. It is yet to be decided. But hopefully by the time we end the uh, campaign, which will be in a... F I think we're on episode 33 right now. In a little bit. So, why can I not put you anywhere? That was weird. Can't put you anywhere down here. It's because of the type of grass. Can put you up there, though. That's probably a good place. Kelias, go there. Yeah, I knew they'd come around that way. You really can't move very far, can you, my friend, today? Right, well, I think we go after these boys first. Kelly has come this way, and we'll send cavalry. It's probably about there. Can you trying to put a block between their uh, their their armies? Do you know what? If we do this, they'll find a way to get there, won't they? So do that. They'll find a way. Right, speed it up. Oh, the classic music as well. Glorious to hear. Uh, let's pepper them with some arrows first. Don't need the longest of lines right now. Kelly has to just get there. Cavalry, you can come up as well. They're finding the route. So, let's keep going. All the archers are firing now. I don't care if they join up. Their, archies, uh, their armies are not big enough for me to worry about them. The enemy army is in flight. What are they going? Drive them from the oh, area. idiots, man. Why would they do this? I don't know whether we're going to get there in time. Just about, but I, I don't really want to be charging into a phalanx. Even as they are withdrawing. Okay, well, they're right next to the line, so we might as well. Oh. Brutally destroying them there. I don't think they know what to do. Surely they're going to break. They've just lost half their unit in one charge. They've not even put the phalanx down yet. Taking casualties, exposed flanks. Of course. Come on, they've got to break. Even if they don't break, we're just going to kill them, I guess. <laughs> We've not even... There we are. Just kill them all. That's our message to... Uh, oh, that was right on the edge. Well, well done. Yeah, no experience gained, unfortunately, but... Cool. I'll see you back on the uh, campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. Fantastic. And uh, let us siege down uh, Nicomedia. There we are. So they have some big armies around, but... I'm counting on Kellyas. Counting on Kellyas to uh, keep us strong. Good commander for making them scared and they ran away. Auto resolve 120. I'm, I'm willing to take that. That's fine. Enslave the Pergamons as well. That is the uh, the beat of the uh, the Carthaginian war drums. Um, is enslaving our enemies <laughs> right now. <laughs> 
Awesome Temple of Athena. That's not great. Defensive building cost. Uh-oh. How are we for corruption here? No corruption whatsoever. I mean, oh yeah, Pella's just there, so we don't need Hera specifically. So, I'm fine to go with uh, Athena. It's quite a decent city, honestly. Interlene. Nice little city. I wonder whether they'll come after us now. That'd be great if they did. Oh, more cities expand. Croton has. Well, definitely going to expand after. I've done that. Singuidunum. Yeah, you can do that. And Larissa. Awesome. You can uh, have those. Another merchant. Do we have to? Do we have to? He's, he's got 10 skill, though. That's quite good. Um, oh, my God. He's, he's a long way away, guys. <laughs> he's all the way in Iran. Don't know how we maintain communications with the boy. But we do somehow. Right. Um, is there any more battles that we wanted to... Oh, we wanted to, to sort this army out. And who was going to lead it? It was Memnon, wasn't it? So, I'm not bothered about... Oh, tell you what, Memnon. We'll give you one more turn to retrain, my boy. Then we're close to having another two armies out on the field, which will be excellent. That'll be fantastic. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's something stuck in my throat there. Um, Athens. There we are. Athens is good. Uh, so once you've recruited them, Athens, I think it's time for uh, some more archers, my boy. Very good. Fantastic. Panormus, we're not going to assault. Um, and then up here, we need this crypt here to get there without getting bloody uh, <laughs> destroyed by the Romans. Hello, Ptolemies. Quick. Do you like a ceasefire? Is Surely you jest. I, I don't jest, but... Uh, let's go talk to Masali. I'd quite like an alliance with those boys. We can scam them into an alliance, but they don't seem to like that. <laughs> and uh, who can blame them? Problem I'm going to have up here is the fact that once these guys have done with Patavia Mediolanum, Mediolanum, I guess we can move them up this way. Uh, we'll put this navy together now then. An admiral with some traits. Good. We've got a priest of Poseidon. Good. Hopefully you don't get on the wrong side of him, my friend. Poseidon, that is. A decent navy. Let's uh, go sit in the port down here. And what we can do is... We might actually... Might as well start it now. Oh, Lily Bayon, we didn't, we didn't repair or do anything to. Whoops. What's the temple they built here? Hopefully it's money again. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Thank you, Carthaginians. Did we do it? Yeah, yeah. Giving us money temples. Money, 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 money. Fantastic. Um, right, so. When you're ready to go, you're plenty strong enough to take these islands. I'm hoping we have an army in here. That's strong enough to take the islands and then have enough troops. So Prinatadas is, is, is likely to be strong enough to take the islands and then defend up here. Because it's very likely either the Suebi, the Sarakis, or Massalians will... The Massalians might declare war on us because we border them now. So we border them here. So we need a defensive army up here and these two are not going to cut it when it comes down to it. So we do need an army up there. And I'm hoping we don't have to send um, a new guy, Memon. But, oh well. For now, let us end the turn again, I guess. Yep. Uh, oh, everyone, yeah, lots of idle resources. Don't care. Cool. Merchants moving everywhere. And we knew this was going to happen. They better not run away this time. They have horse archers. God damn it, Egypt. Getting horse archers on me. But we can defend. And there was some nice places to defend on this battle map, I'm pretty sure. So let's defend. And I'll see you on the uh, battle map, guys. Here we are. Okay. It's less hilly, I guess. <laughs> or is it? Yeah, it's not the same place before we were here going that way. This time we're in a slightly different place. I mean, it's a hill. There's not much of one. Um, 
Over here is a hill as well. It's also not much of one. We know that that army is going to be coming in that way. So, for now, let us set up like this. Group you boys. And you can go left side. You can go right side to protect the flanks. With the boyloy nicely situated in the middle. With these boyos firing over their heads. Can they? It's a bit too flat. But for now, it'll be fine. Um, I just don't want to lose too many men to, uh, to my own archers. Group you as well. And then Kellyas. Kellyas the just. A just man, if ever I've seen one. Oh, where's their other army? Okay, it's there. You, of course, can fire. I'm going to put you on flaming. I know it makes them less uh, accurate, but it'll help me see where they're, where they're firing, I guess. <laughs> If anything, we kind of... Okay, I was going to say we want to angle, but it looks like we don't need to. If anything, we want to probably angle around a little bit. Oh, good. Uh, well, if anything, even angle even more. Okay, now they've moved. <laughs> Decided to switch it up. Um, archers. Let's get you forward. Why are you always on skirmish mode? Stop. These guys are hidden, so keep them there. Keep them there. Oh, they're moving now. They're not hidden. You guys there. Litho Boiler, keep firing, my boy. Oh, you've done some damage, haven't you? Kill that Zista Foroy if you can. Horse archers are going to be annoying, but it's going to take them a while to chip through our armor. These guys are still hiding, so if they come close, we'll spring a little trap. Archers, fire at the phalanx of the Chlorochoi. They're a good, good unit. Because I think, anyway. Oh! Matching my archers getting shredded. Are they still hidden here? I don't know where those horse archers are going, but... <laughs> It ain't anywhere. It's really that uh, great for us. Can you, Litho Boy Light, aim over here yet? Yeah? No. You were aiming that way, did were you? Wow. Wow, honestly. <laughs> right, let's see how our uh, phalanxes uh, hold up against theirs. It's going to be interesting. Phalanx on phalanx action. We've not seen that for a little while. We Coplates. I think three of you should fire on them. And you should fire here. I'll make sure all the archers will group them as well are on uh, guard mode so they don't start running away. Yes, phalanx on phalanx action, boys. Let's go. Kill them. Did we just... Oh, my God. How did you do that? Get spread. Get spread, boys. Get spread quick. Can you fire on these? Oh! No! It's twice we've just done that. God damn, Litho Boloi. Why? Yeah, fire on those Greek Hoplites. That horse archer just chilling. I don't know what it's doing. They're all just stood in front of our army, really not doing much. And the most damage we've done is done to our, has been done to ourselves. So very close to being able to shoot, uh, shoot at the Theroporoi now. And then when we do that, we will have to do that. And I think he won't shoot our own men if we shoot so far away. Come on, Spartans. I want you to halt so you get back in formation. Because we've screwed our own formation up there. How can you not fire at these guys yet? Okay, there we are. Good. These Greek Hoplites are just getting shredded. Fantastic. Do you know what? While we have the, art, uh, the ammo, shoot at the horse archers. Can you hit the horse archers as well? Good. We didn't hit ourselves this time. 
Good. <laughs> Good. Okay, should be beating these guys. Uh, why are you shooting there? Horse archers, please. Because you're shooting our men in the back. I don't like that. Please don't do that. Horse archers are coming in now. Oh, well, while we're here... Let's angle. And say good luck to them. Have they seen these guys yet? Not quite. As soon as they do, we'll uh, press the charge. Okay, that's good. Uh, shoot that blob, please. No flames. Seen him yet? Surely we'll catch him now. Off guard. Yes! The trap is sprung. Get them. Get as many as you can. I know they're going to be fast, but get as many as you can because they will come back and just be really annoying. Uh, this is where he starts shooting into our own men again. I bet you. How many? We killed most of them now. So, time to go. Get you there. Oh, that was actually a good shot. Good. Yeah, keep firing, boys. Shoot the Theroparoi. Okay, he's bringing his Hoplites out. Are oh, they broken anyway? I think we'll break this Hoplites, you know. They're experienced, but... Doesn't help with their morale. Well, we took a lot of damage in that charge, actually. Come back. Shoot that infantry. Kill the Hoplites. Ideally, I want to kill this general. Yeah, let's go fight them. Kill that Machimoy archer. Oh, hello. Now, this is real up close and personal phalanx action. Kill those archers. Now these ones. Good. Now these hoplites. Oh, we've absolutely boxed them in. Nice. Kill those. Get out that way. Surely that'll break them. Surely. Come on. Yeah, broken now. Good. I'm going to send one to deal with the rest of them. Group you guys instead. And you guys can come and charge into the back of the enemy. Okay, you've taken a serious amount of damage. Broken. Nice. Let's uh, get in the back of that blob. Machimoy Pikemen, let's kill them. Let's go, kill those. Uh, the Ptolemies are just... Nice to fight. They, they seem reasonably easy to, to beat with our phalanxes. Easier than I uh, expected anyway. But maybe they're just not recruiting the right troops. Everyone get them. Kill them. I'm guessing that's a decent unit. So let's get out. Go, just go. Get out. We've taken some damage. Uh, Litho Boloi. Ideally would like you not to fire anymore. Just walk around. 
Not even had to get the general anywhere close to this battle. Getting there if we can. They're getting shredded by the uh, archers. Let's go. I think they're going to sneak through the gap, aren't they? Let's do it. Kill the Theroporoid. Nice. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. How many have we killed? It says we've killed nearly all of them. Let's end then. Oh, maybe that one survived. Oh, that was... I should have carried on chasing them down. Oh, well. Got one experience for the Lithoboloi. Wow, yay! <laughs> Fantastic. And I will see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And they didn't come for us with a bigger army. It's quite nice. Come on, Seleucids. You know you want an alliance. You need an alliance. Oh, really? The Suebi have attacked. Ah, fantastic. Good. Um. Uh, yeah, I was going to do a toggle fog of war, guys. But I think we save it for the next battle, then? Save it for the next episode. Yeah, let's save it for the next episode. And we'll do this battle to start off the next episode. Um, it should be good. Uh, actually, do you know what? Let's fight it. Let's fight it. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Fight these Suebi that have been marauding our lands for so long. I'm sure um, Eotrocles is pretty annoyed <laughs> by what's been happening. So uh, <laughs> let him use his frustration. And we'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. Ah. It's a day for the histories. Tales of bravery that will be written in the blood of our foes. The land that has been so coveted by, <laughs> by the Suebi for so long. <laughs> Finally, it comes to a head. So, thinking ladders-wise, these guys... Alt attack of 13 is not terrible. But, screw the walls. <laughs> Problem we have here, though, is... They can get in in so many different places. Five. Let's go. You guys there. You guys get an extra one here. We'll set them up when we get into the uh, battle. Just want to get this battle over and done with. Um, and then we'll have uh, Eotrocles taking his frustration out there. Of course, these guys are going to be on the walls firing. Maybe some of their stuff won't make it to the walls. So, let's go. Speed it up as well. Get firing, boys, when you can. Fire at, the, at these guys. They don't have a lot of armor, the Suebi. So, well, the ram's not worked. So, they're going to have to come up and over the walls. Right then, let's go. Go, 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 go. Get the hell out of dodge, boys. So they're on the walls. They're on the walls. Go, 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 go. Right, now we need to slow down and sort our troops out. You guys there. Oh, wait, you can come through. Oh, no, that was there. That's there. That's the thing. There. There. Can't go there, so he's there. Then you boys here. Double lines, of course. Actually, what we'll do is do that so that we stop anyone flanking us. Then on this side, we'll do something similar. Quite low numbers of phalangites, but it's the Suebi, right? They shouldn't get through. Let's do that. If they want to come all the way round. They can. I'll send uh, a unit here. And if they want to go around that way, which it doesn't look like they're doing. Uh, we'll send them somewhere else. So it looks like that they're pretty much all coming this way. So we'll leave three archers there. And one archer on this side. And this guy can come and cover here if needed. Doesn't look like it's going to be needed now. Let's speed it up. Everyone should be in position. The Wall of Pikes once again, my friends. Good luck to them if they want to try and break through. 
Okay, there are people going around that way. Right hand side, no one. Um, so do you know what? You guys will get you over here. And over here. Get that set up. Anything there. You guys behind if you can. No, no, no. Sorry, wrong group. Okay, now they're uh, starting to bash into the wall. Doesn't look like they're going to come this way. So, can't say I'm too worried right now. Uh, some are coming this way. Freeman. Finally a chance to beat them beat them back. Why are you all, why are you not on guard mode, guys? Guard mode, please. In fact, everyone should be on guard mode. The whole army. Get there. Now you're all messed up. I have to sort you out again. Guys! Phalanx, please! <laughs> I can't believe... Why do they break phalanx like this? Why? <laughs> Get into your goddamn phalanx and stay there, you fools. Let's get there. Help out. Halt. Goddamn, that phalanx is trash. Looks like we're shooting our own men, really, rather than anything else. <laughs> so, maybe just stop the archers from firing for now. I just can't believe you broke phalanx over here. Do you want to die? <laughs> okay, well, that guy's gone. I guess they do want to die. Okay, this is better. I should have put... I, I Stupid of me not to put them on guard mode, honestly, but... What can you do? Infantry. Forgets things sometimes. Yeah, fire your javis. Not really done much damage. Can't say it. Too much damage. Good luck, boys. Trying to get through that. Again, they're firing their javis. Again, not doing much damage. We do have decent armor, don't we? And shield. Speed this baby up. Is that everyone? We don't have... Oh, okay. This side is uh, a little bit screwed. Didn't even realize that. At least these guys are holding position. What have they got? Freeman 100. Freeman 100. And Freeman. They're not armor piercing those Freeman, are they? Let's get in there if we can. Charge! Eatrocles, take out your frustration, my boy. Rally. Rally the boys. See how you fare against a man possessed. By his anger. Let's go. Get you guys over there. This side, they're not going to break through. It'd be a lot easier if it was a Roman or Greek city, honestly. <laughs> Now there, now let's uh, march. Should be in the fight now. It's not really helped, has it, that? Do that. You guys can uh, be off guard mode. You guys need to be on it. Okay, they're going to throw some jabbies, are they? Cool. Let's halt. Come on, guys. Phalanx down, please. Phalanx down. Phalanx. Oh, god damn, bro. I'll just say that. Just attack them. Phalanx. Oh, my god. Phalangites are excellent. And then sometimes they're just hellishly annoying. <laughs> so, like, what are they doing? Well, at least one guy's routing now. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Fight them. What about these guys? Maybe maybe they'll fare better against those. Okay, at least they, they got a phalanx out. 
Okay, that's good. Everyone fight them. Here, Trocles has hardly lost any men. These guys over here. Uh, still fighting. The Freeman 100 are a pretty tough unit. Uh, Archer, let's get you after them. How many have we killed? Okay, we, we should fully destroy them then. That'll be good. Just these last boys. They're already shaken. Let's get our archers there. Wait. Why? Oh, you're dying to the towers. I was going to say, why are you dying? It's fine. I'm not too bothered about you dying to the towers. Get away from the towers, though. There's another Suebi tower over there. Dying quickly. God damn it, bro. <laughs> that poor archer unit. Come on. There we are. Fantastic. Good defense. Good defense. I feel like if they had a full army, though, we might not have been able to defeat it. So we do need to swap Eatrocles out for a new defensive army. But Cleonimon's up here, ready to go. Cleonimos is up here, ready to go. Um, and we need to send another army. Um, another defensive army. Two defensive armies against the Suebi is, is maybe not even enough, the amount of full stacks they've got around this area. So, yeah. I'm trying to, I want to try and bait them into attacking us rather than attacking them. Because when we go and attack them, our phalangites are a lot worse than when they're in defense. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are. Okay, yeah, so I'll be straight back. And now everyone's happy in the city. <laughs> now, that's a big army. So, I honestly don't think we'll be able to beat that. But we will try. Let us now talk reasonably. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, compensation, boys. Ah, compensation's not there yet. I don't want to offer compensation. Um, well, we can see what regions they have from this. So they have Carolus, Illyria, Mediolanum. Uh, yeah, so they do have the island. So that's why they had uh, ten, 10 regions. Give us all your regions. And we'll be happy. Nope. We must decline. Stupid Romans. Oh, the Bosporans. They've not learnt their lesson, have they? They don't... They know when you mess with Sparta. The only thing that ends up happening is that all your people become enslaved, your cities get, get raised, and uh, you die. <laughs> so, uh, good luck to them. Oh, this is... You should have accepted our ceasefire, Romans, honestly. Oh, god damn, bro. You in there. Oh, no! He's blocking the way. Um, Stalia is not going to be happy. <laughs> oh, Bononia is uh, incredibly upset. Well, nothing two Cryptia can't solve, eh? 1%. Ooh. We got any crypt here we can bring up? Clear nine on we do. Let's get you in a retium just to make sure no one takes it. Um, uh, siege towers, please. Tavium will have really big walls, I'm guessing, if we can only get siege towers. Yeah, it does. The Serakis are right there as well, which is kind of scary because this army is very damaged, and I would not like to take on a Serakian army. With that small army. So rioting in Bononia. Yeah, we know. Uh, Carthage and Rome have ceased fight again. So they must have somewhere in that mess declared war on each other at some point. So expand of Byzantium. Good. It's not been under siege for a couple of turns. First thing that happens is it expands. That's <laughs> what happens when you leave uh, sieges. No, we've got to do this straight away. Now we get silver and gold attack. What does that mean? 19 melee attack as opposed to... What? 22? Oh, that's it. Uh, so it'd be 23 attack. Fantastic. Very good. <laughs> Very good. 
Glorious, glorious, glorious. We could do with uh, retraining these boys in Sparta then when they're trained. And maybe the Ambrakian and Thermon troops. That'd be good. Rather than Bylazora. Bylazora is getting close. It is getting close. Um, which is excellent to see. So, guys. So, what do we want to do? I think. First things first. We've got Cryptia on here. We'll take Prinatadas. Drop him off over here. And he can go for there. And unfortunately, we're kind of stuck. Um, we can't get into a port, but I'm going to hide here. <laughs> I hope that it's hidey enough. Well, they've got a big army in Illyria, so... Oh, well. And for now, we'll uh, spread you... Put you into Lily Biome. But it's still not enough to keep them happy. It's unfortunate. What if I send Nicandros in there? Yeah, instant happiness. Instant happiness. Um, we need to go through the construction, don't we? I, I don't know why I, I ignored that. So Megalopolis. Megalopolis. Let's keep on going with the temples. Corinth. What do we want? Corinth. Go for the Pantheon. I think that'd be perfect. Orchomenos. Uh, just get the temple. Uh, Larissa's upgrading. Thermon has got that. Does that allow us anything else? No, so it was just pointless building that. Didn't do any difference. Um, well then, Thermon. Let's get the... Temple of Persephone. Yeah, that sounds good. Ambrakia. Get the irrigation. We want Ambrakia to become a huge city as well. Pella got the shrine to Deimos and Phomos. Argadava. Go for... I mean, nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Uh, Samizagatuza. Great Agora. Singuidunum. Do that. Darkidava. What do we want to build? Just another temple, I think. Arkidava. Go for the Odeon. Cleonaimon on got the Pantheon. Hmm. Is it time? I think it's time. To try at least. Byzantium got that. Ancona Aqueduct. Ancona got the Aqueduct. So go with the dockyard at Ancona, I think. Uh, Malaventum, we got the public baths. Let's go for the Odeon. Keep them happy when we're culture converting them. It's the main thing. Nicandron. Agrigentum. What do we want to build here? Paved roads, definitely, if we don't have them. Benonia. Repair that. Let's build the large temple of Heracles. Mytilene. Let's build... Let's build the Odeon. Masana. We repaired everything. Lily Biom. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Mytilene. Yeah, building. Good, 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 good. So I think we'll do our troop movements next episode, guys. We'll move some of our troops around next episode. Uh, okay. Plague's gone from Panormus. So we can take Panormus as well and rename it uh, Pro yes, Proton. Good name. So, uh, yeah, we'll toggle uh, Fog of War, guys, and let's uh, see how the AI is getting on. Not done it for a little while. Okay, I have to do it twice, do I? There we are. Cool. Wow. What has happened up here? Well, was that like that last time? I just can't believe there's rebel settlements still up here. Maybe it's um, them rebelling as they're trying to uh, trying to take it. Uh, Aravachi are very strong once again. They, they seem to be very strong in every game that I play. Uh, they're very, they're very strong in the Carthage campaign. Incredibly strong, in fact. But they've taken back some of the Carthaginian stuff. The Massilii are here. Wow. I am, you know, I'm gunning for the Massilii. I think. You know what? Well done, well done, Massilii. You've you've survived this long without Carthage destroying you. I, I can't be, uh, can't be mad at that. that, that that's brilliant. So Massalia down here is, is pretty strong. They, they've got a good base, anyway. Um, spreading Greek throughout the world. 
So that's one good thing for us. But these settlements are all Celtic. And they've not culture converted them yet. But I just hope they don't attack us. Like, there's no need to attack us, Massalia. Stay there. Go and attack the Suebi or something. Um, the Suebi are doing well. But looks like Iceni are uh, coming across the water. That's nice to see. Bit of an invasion. So I'm hoping the Suebi get a bit caught out by that. That, that would be excellent. This region in the middle here, I'm just wondering, is there a, uh, a settlement in it? Or is it just wasteland? Um, but yeah, cool. So the Bosporans, they've remained pretty much the same. Uh, they've not expanded or, or gone down. I don't know whether they're at war with Armenia. It doesn't look like it, honestly. So they're probably only at war with us. Um, but yeah, the Suebi have a lot of armies out on this front line and... They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna try and batter their way through, which is is good, good for them. Well, uh, we'll we'll defend uh, like hell. So Bosporans doing okay. Well, we've looked at all the barbarians now, haven't we? So let's have a look uh, up here and go east. So the Bosporans fine. Armenia very strong still, very very strong. It's truly, truly big nation right now. All the way down to Mazaka, they've made it. Pretty good. And the Seleucids, who were in such a commanding position last time. Um, was I... Am I wrong or, or, or right in thinking that last time the Seleucids had all this territory and Bactria has taken it back? Well done, Bactria. I, I love Bactria. I think Bactria is a cool nation. I mean, the Seleucids are my favorite, but Bactria are a pretty cool nation. I, I'm kind of rooting for them a little bit. Um, yeah, the... The Slukas look like they're at war with them. They've got this big army on the way. But I don't think he's going to be able to beat off all these armies. The Sarka have improved since last time. Last time they were doing nothing and they were a bit trash. But now it looks like they have options for expansion. And Bactria needs to be careful of that uh, if the Sarka come from the north. Seleucids, of course, pretty large still. Still pretty decently large. Down here that still remains rebel territory. But in terms of their war with the Ptolemies, I honestly don't know how they didn't take Sidon, Tyre, Jerusalem. I think they were at Tyre last time. Tyre last time, uh, and it just looked open for them to come and take the heartland of Egypt, and they haven't. And I'm really confused as to why. What caused them to be pushed back? Because they had about four full stacks, and and the Egyptians had no armies, so. They've done that terribly, Seleucids. You've had a terrible time there. Oh, God. Are those all full stacks? This is this is why. <laughs> this is why they're losing. They literally have one, two... Your full stack. Three, four, five, six, seven... Probably nine full stack armies around here. That are doing nothing. I mean, they, they might be sending them to Bactria. Fair enough. Probably send half of them to Bactria. But get half of them back over here to fight the Ptolemies. Otherwise, you're gone, bro. You're gone. The, the Ptolemies are coming. And they ain't stopping. It doesn't look like you've got anyone to defend over here. And it looks like, in fact, you're sending people away. <laughs> strange. Strange. I don't know how they didn't press that advantage. But the Ptolemies still looking strong, as we can see in Anatolia. But not as strong as... As, uh, as uh, they were before. Because it looks like they brought some of their armies back to deal with the Seleucids. And it's worked. So what I'm thinking. Obviously going forward. We want to take here. But if we can. Uh, oh there's the Greek cities. There you are. The little boys. Still alive. Good. Good for them. Um, if we can take this area of Anatolia. We're actually locked off from Egypt at that point. So if we can do that. Then we're locked off from Egypt, and it's probably Armenia declaring war on us. Which we can fight Armenia, that's fine. I don't want to go all the way up to here, but it might round off our lands. I mean, that's that's probably not going to be by the end of the campaign. But if we can lock off this by the end of the campaign, that'd be nice. That'd be a good victory. Um, so yeah, looking at all the nations. Some strong nations out there. I don't know how the averni has been so weak. Normally, they're very strong. There's there's three rebel territories up here that they haven't taken yet, which is just crazy. I see you need to jump on that as well. Um, but yeah, I think we're uh, we're in a decent position. We're, we're definitely the best empire at the minute. Ptolemies are coming up fast, but if we can knock them back, there's no one that can stop us, is there? 
Well, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It might be a slightly longer episode than normal, so like and subscribe for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you again on the next video.